Time to learn something new, friends. Today we're going to delve into combined rules in CSS. How do we create a combined rule? Take a look at this. We have an accumulative way here, where we say padding top, padding left, padding right, padding bottom. We are using four lines of code to specify the padding of an element. Let's hit the Run button, and you can see here we have this initial result, which is what we see at the beginning of our exercise. But what happens if I suddenly remove these paddings here? I'm just commenting them out, and then I hit Run again. Notice how my element is now much smaller. It basically has no padding on any side. There might be an image, but we can't see it because there is no padding. Perfect. What are we going to do? LearnPack tells us that we can combine different rules into one. For example, I'm going to place a padding here, and now I'm going to put them in the correct order. How do I ensure they are in the correct order? We start at the top, which in this case would be 10 pixels. So we put 10 pixels here, and then we leave a space and move to the right, following the same direction as the clock hands, essentially. You see, I am just following the path like the clock hands, hitting run, and notice it's exactly the same as what we had at the beginning. It's different from the intermediate result and precisely the same as we initially had. Let's test with the background. In this case, the background is a bit more complicated because we could add more stuff inside it. Here, I start by writing the background rule, and let's add some information. First, I'm going to copy over this background URL we have because it's basically longer. In addition, I'm going to place this color we have here in a non-ordered way. I will also add this no repeat that we have here, and this background size that says contain. I will put 100 pixels contain and hit run. But first, let's hit run here to see what happens. Perfect. You see now I have the same thing as before because I haven't made any changes. However, if I comment on what's going to happen is that it will be different. In this case, the background image is no longer visible. You see, if I comment this out, I basically get back to what I had at the start because I'm adding exactly the same thing, but I'm doing it in a single line. I'm doing it in a single rule. That's the advantage of using combined styles. They are more difficult in theory, but here it's easier when we put them in just one rule of styles. Let's run the test to see what happens. Perfect. Everything passed without any problems. Let's move on to the next exercise.